Holy hearties, a very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClue. Can you believe it? Thursday morning. Nothing gets past me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our live stream. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation watching right now. So lovely, lovely to have you with us, of course. And um, I hope you will enjoy our stream. Yesterday was a tremendous success and the last six have been a tremendous success. So always lovely to have you with us. It's random pop-up, random chat. We never know what we're going to be talking about. And the other thing is that it doesn't actually matter. So that's very important as well. Who have we got? Uh, Sareem, uh, Kareem Zachariah is watching. Good morning. Hello, Scotty. How are we today? We're very well, Kareem. Kevin Stewart's with us. Excellent. Paul Francis Carroll. Morning again, sir. Good morning, Paul Francis Carroll. Perhaps the finest organist in the world. Dave Nicholson, Dickie Doo. Good morning, Scotty. How are you? Says Gene Smith. Welcome, Gene. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. As I say, it's a random pop-up, and that makes it all the more exciting. We've had six fabulous shows before. No reason why we shouldn't have a seventh. The sharing has to start right away, of course, because that gets us sorted out. So there we are, and we had a great number with us yesterday. I was absolutely chuffed. There's Jack, Dinky Doo, Scotty, Dinky Doo, Jack, David Lafferty. Welcome, David. Lovely to have you with us. Dave Nichols is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Dave. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Just getting you all set up there. Have you got enough light, guys? Have we got enough light on the subject? There we are. Can we at all improve the lighting? Who knows? Let's see what we can do for you. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty, this is Robert Rovers. Gary Hal Sibley, Dinky Doo, Howard Thompson, good morning, morning Howard. Michael Clark's watching, and the wonderful Alistair King, one of our top engineers. Morning Scotty, morning Alistair, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. So I'm just going to get off to the sharing at the very off, and then uh, people will know. You can do the most fantastic program in the world, but unless everyone knows it's on, what would be the point? That's where you all come in. Dinky Doo, glad you're back in here, says Michael Clark. Lovely to be back, Michael. Richie McCusker, Nicky Graham, Dinky Doo. Kevin Stewart, Scotty, I saw your pop-up last night. It appeared the room has changed around. Everything seemed to be on the opposite wall. Very Alice through the looking glass. Lewis Carroll would be proud. Well, that, of course, was because we turned to the side, you see, to uh, give you a wee tune on the organ. Or was it a different pop-up? It depends what pop-up you actually had. Uh, Scott McClure, the lighting's fine. Thank you, Kareem. Very, very good of you. The Skype is open for trusted Skypers. I can't trust some of the wee scallywags. They ruin it for the world. Morning from Dumfries, says Graham McCulley. Graham McCulley. Uh, McCulley, McCulley. How do you like to pronounce it, Graham? I like to get people's names right. And uh, he's a Dunhamer. He's doing in Dumfries. Uh, lovely. Overlooking the Nith there. Uh, Susan Forrest, Dinky Doo. Gavin McVickers watching, Dinky Doo. Lisa Terrace. Hello from Dumbarton. Now, this morning, I want to know what you're all up to with your self-isolation. Dinky Doo, Scotty. Hope you're well and surviving the lockdown. Yes, there's plenty of light says the wonderful Nicky Graham. These are all great professionals who know what they are talking about. Are you doing the key workers applaud again tonight, Scotty? I always applaud the key workers, Alistair. It's very important. Andy McMaster's watching Jim Wilson. Morning from Balmore Village. How fantastic. Uh, at uh, Torrance. Excellent, wonderful, out in Torrance there. I have friends in Torrance. Can't wait for the 13th pop-up. Unlucky for some, says Jack. Hopefully it's no unlucky for us, Jack. So there we are. Um, you know, I mean, I think we've all had a very tough life recently, but we're still here. Good morning, Scotty McClure from here in Yorkshire, 
says the wonderful Andy McMaster. We're in Yorkshire. Are you, Andy? Spill, spill. Uh, Paul Connell Dunnachy is watching. Paul Connell Dunnachy. There's a big name now, if ever I heard one. Scotty, what's the Mad Hatter's favourite drink? In Sunny Tea. Oh! What made the Hatter's mad, Kevin? Come on, fess up. Scotty, I always go to Blackpool at Easter, but can't this year. Blackpool is a cracking place for a break. Well, of course, I used to broadcast to Blackpool and was very well known. Andy McMaster's in Sheffield, the Seven Hills, a fine city. I have lived there twice in my life and uh, loved every second of it. Beautiful, beautiful city. Lovely, lovely people. South Yorkshire, right. You send, ah, Barnsley, Sheffield. Yes, that's it. Over to East Yorkshire Hall. You know what I'm saying, like, uh, up to Leeds. That's it. Dinky do, Scotty. I haven't had an alcoholic drink for two days. Am I right to be this afternoon? David Fleming, I haven't had an alcoholic drink for four years. Not because I had to give it up or anything. I just decided I wanted to be able to jump in the car at any point. So uh, very good from that point of view. Saved a bit of money as well. Did they use mercury to make the hats softer? Yes, they did. And other chemicals, and it drove the poor old hatters mad. I'll tell you where you'll get a lot of hatters is a Stockport. Very big for hats in Stockport. I'm not saying the Stockportians are a bit mad. I'm just saying it was very big for hatters, so they would have their share of madness, if that uh, lets you know. Uh, Scotty, every time you brighten up my day, every time I watch you, you make me extremely happy. Thank you for making me happy, Nikki Graham. It is a privilege, it is a pleasure, and I am delighted you are getting joy from the pop-ups because that's what they're designed to bring, joy. I saw some uh, Saki character going, where is Jesus during all this? And I said, he dwells among us in his risen power. So there you are. And, uh, you know, that sort of thing, because he does. And he brings uh, succor and uh, strength and comfort to people. I remember being taught a little um, mnemonic about joy. Well, you wouldn't call it a mnemonic because joy is joy. But it was Jesus first, others second, and yourself last. And you'll have true joy. Uh, Stephen Mooney, Alistair King, I liked the pic you posted yesterday of you and your furry friend in what looked like a church, Scotty. That was Iona Cathedral. Lord Reith, who was a great pal of the original um, Lord MacLeod of Funerary, who restored Iona Abbey, and the dog was called Lord Reith. So I didn't think that anyone would mind if the dog accompanied me to the Abbey in commemoration of both George MacLeod and John Reith. So there you are, you see two great Glaswegians. Uh, you said it right first time, thanks for saying hi. Yes, Graham McCulley. Excellent, Graham McCulley. Uh, Elliot Boyce, stinky do Elliot, lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Kevin Roberts, stinky do, lovely to have you with us. Jack says, Twitch seems to be more popular streaming platform than YouTube is. I do have a Twitch account, Jack. Um, Scotty underscore McClure. So uh, I might take to Twitch as well. Good morning, sir. Listen on the front line, David and Paul. David Lafferty, lovely to hear from you. Now, David, I don't know if you heard how things ended up, but we had uh, a poison, a cup of poison from somebody that I think you knew on the Facebook. I was shocked when I found out who it was. So there we are. Scotty McClure, what's your favourite town, city, and Finnish town, city? Ooh, Finnish. Oh, English, sorry. That looked like Finnish to me. Ah, and Karim, I am so at home throughout the UK. My favourite Scottish town. Well, my favourite city, well, I love, I adore Glasgow. A wonderful city. And I was made very, very welcome in Edinburgh. And I love 
Edinburgh. I love Perth and Dundee and Aberdeen and Inverness, Dunkeld, Dunblane. These are cities, yes, because uh, they have cathedrals. Um, you know, Elgin. I love Elgin. Um, it's very, it's so different. It's so difficult because these places all I love for different things. I've lived in Newcastle. I've lived in Carlisle. These are beautiful cities. I've lived in Preston. I've lived in, uh, I think Preston just was getting city status. And have we, is Paisley a city now? Am I right in thinking? Do tell, Bill. Um, where else? London. Um, London's a bit big, but, uh, but uh, you know, I, I love a lot of bits of London. It is, of course, on a mud flat. Uh, you know, Scottish towns, villages, Auburn, Pitlochre, uh, where else have we got? Um, oh, Killin, Stirling. I love Stirling, of course. Set up the radio station at Stirling 30 years ago in June. Nice to see you, Scotty McClure. Just been followed. So I've got time in my hands, says the wonderful Kevin Roberts. I am so glad you're with us, Kevin. Guys, we've done no sharing. No wonder we've got tiny figures. Come on. Everybody share. Everybody share. Very, very important. The wonderful Gordon Stirling's watching. Now there's a man o' oh, many peers. A lad o' peers. Yes, quite a terrific character. I think, Gordon, you might have an element of autodidactism in you. Now, that'll keep you busy all morning, checking that one out. Where are we sharing? Share to page, to the big Scotty Reclue page. Let's get sharing to that. And can everybody tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live streaming live on Facebook Live? That's the big one. David Lafferty. Uh, well on the phone to her yesterday. So there you are. Excellent, David. Yes, good. Uh, love Lewis Carroll, Scotty. I like to use a spoonerism when I'm eating my Mr. My breakfast in the morning. Oh, Dr. W.A. Spooner. How fantastic is that? Right, guys, I'm going to do a big share. If you can all do the same. We need to get going on this. This is where we're a bit slow off the mark sometimes. Excuse me a second. Woo! Roasting in the studio this morning. Uh, great for a tweed cap. Live now. I'll have to turn the keyboard round. There we go. Keyboard turned round. Check that the Skype's working. What are we putting here? Live now? Yes. Live now. Join us. And share. Try and uh, try and get people to realise because then they all realise it doubles. The watching doubles as well during the day. Stevie Brown, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Yes, Doctor W. E. Spooner. Who was the other one that got the wrong words for things? <clears throat> there we are. I can remember going into an academic establishment. And there was a wonderful, wonderful lady there who was uh, in charge of the uh, domestic side of things. And uh, she was great for malapropisms. Mrs. Malaprop there, I've given it away now. And uh, she said to me, Scotty son, pop your milk into the fridge. The other milk is for the uh, vigilantes. And uh, what she actually meant was the invigilators who were coming in to do an exam. <laughs> <laughs> Every cloud is a silver lining. The Edinburgh Festival's cancelled. A shambolic event that brings no benefit to Edinburgh people. Gordon Stirling, are you for real? It brings millions into the city. But I'll take your point and put it to the nation. Does the Edinburgh Festival benefit the Edinburgh people? Does the tattoo benefit the residents of Ramsey Garden. 
that sort of thing. So there we are. Derek Walker's watching. Dinky do, Derek. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You've got to remember for many, many years, Scotty McClue broadcast live on Radio Forth. So there you are. So I know Edinburgh well. Jim Fank is watching. Welcome, Jim. Yes, a good West Coast man from, from Greenock there. Lovely to have you with us. Your favourite town should always be your hometown where your roots are. Oh, well, that is my favourite town, actually. That's the town of Greenock, the green oak tree, and uh, also other great towns, Paisley, of course. Uh, but we, we think it might be a city. I'm just testing the water there. Uh, Kilmarnock, very important. Ayr, yes, all these towns. This is why I want Scotland to either get a massive, massive influx of DOSH, Spondulux currency from the government or, or keep their own income. So, you know, I mean, the independence thing, this is where I, I support independence economically because Scotland sends, oh, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 billion pounds to Westminster for them to squander and gives us some back. Now, what I think should be happening is Scotland should keep its own money and um, do up all these towns, find jobs, become the wealthy country that it is, and then we could look at maybe giving Westminster a grant, a block grant, helping them out, whatever. But that kind of thing. So I'm no separatist or anything. Um, I just want uh, Scotland to have a fair crack at its own dosh. And the big companies, big supermarkets, if you trade in Scotland, you should account in Scotland. So if you're taking Scottish money, you don't run away south to London with the money on a Friday night, pop it into your central London bank and wherever, Threadmeadle Street or whatever. So that's where I'm coming from. So people that attack me for, um, you know, say, oh, you're a nationalist, you know. No, I am a person who supports his own nation. That's a different thing. Nationalism tends to be right wing. It has been equated with fascism and all that in days gone by. I am not interested in that. I am interested in Scotland self-administrating its own money that it has earned, bought and paid for. All right. Do we have that straight? Good. I thank you. Uh, your favourite town should be your own town. Absolutely. So we're green up there. Molly Scotty, heard of the Spanish alcoholic, Juan Pint. Juan Pint. Juan, I think, is what you're trying to say, Derek. Fair enough. Uh, Paisley is not a city yet, however, I think it should be. The airport should be called Glasgow Paisley Airport. No, Kareem. The airport should be Scotty McClue International. Right? There we are. I know I'm not dead yet, but Scotty McClure International would be a great title for Glasgow Airport. Uh, I'm now following on Twitch, Scotty, says Nikki Graham. Excellent, Nikki. We'll maybe do some broadcasts on Twitch and test the water, dip a toe in the water. I was going on YouTube and we've got a couple of thousand uh, subscribers on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel because YouTube is where I shall upload this to YouTube at the end so the YouTubers can see it. Uh, so it's very important. Um, but uh, having said that, there's quite a little bit of puerility from uh, some people when we're broadcasting live, live streaming on YouTube. And I wanted them to see just the kind of fun and laughter we have in the more mature channel over on Facebook Live. Uh, watching from Sydney in Australia, Kenny Wilson. This just lifts everyone's heart, Kenny. Because what's happening, the Scotty McClure pop-up live on Facebook is bringing the world together at a very difficult time. Now, this show's not about me. It's about you. I'm only the catalyst. Come and join me. Spread the word. 
Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue popping up live on Facebook Live just for you and saying dinky do. That's not too much to ask. Can we have another share? Glasgow was seen as the second city of the empire in the tea clipper days. It was Kevin Stewart. Glasgow controlled the whole of the tobacco industry. Of course, your tobacco bands, very, very rich industrialists. There is a wee bit of slavery. Of course, we have to be careful in the background there. Greenock, very, very wealthy town, refining sugar coming off the ships at the port of Glasgow because originally the river wasn't deep enough uh, to go up there. And uh, Ferguson's in Port Glasgow built their last sailing ship, as far as I know, in 1936. And I was given the lines plans by the Ferguson's. Is that not amazing? I've shared my friends from my own group. That's got 1,600 members. Thanks, Alistair. I'm going to do some more sharing. Guys, can we all share, share, share like mad? So there we are. I'll just, I'll share another one in public. Pop that up there and share to my story. And if you can all do the same, that would be great. Thanks, Alistair. I'm following you now in Twitch, says Nikki. Great stuff. Why don't they play poker in the jungle? Difficult keeping a straight face in the jungle, I would think, Jack. You know, there's all sorts of dangers. <laughs> You'd be a bit nervous looking in the jungle. So there you are. Dinky do, Aldrin. That's, of course, where poker face would come from. A poker face. Uh, Dinky do, Aldrin. I find it hard to believe I used to go to sleep in my nana's listening to every night. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm 35 and I'm still listening. Peter McKechnie. I'm not blowing any trumpets, but I firmly believe Scotty McClure should be live on national radio, either commercial or public service broadcaster, preferably public service broadcaster. Because for years, they've been backsliding out of having me on, and there's no reason for them to do so. So there you are. Graham McCauley, ever been to Dalbiti? Oh, Dalbiti and Kirkubri, lovely part of the world down there, the southwest. I used to broadcast to Dalbiti, so I'm well known in the tune. So they are Border Television, 35 years ago this week. Um, too many cheetahs. Ah, oh, Jack, brilliant. Why do you not play poker in the jungle? Too many cheetahs. Why should you not play poker with a black Labrador. There's one for you, Jack. William Haining Johnson, and I have attempted to do so, but I got beat. Uh, Gordon Hadley, Dinky Dear, Thomas Hamilton, good morning, pal. Morning, Thomas. Always lovely to have you with us, top man. Dinky Dear, Scotty, I'm around Glasgow to Tain and Fort William. <coughs> <coughs> Don't be fooled by the cough. I've had it for 20 years. I mean, if you're a panic merchant, you could stand back from your device two meters, but don't be fooled. Dinky do, Scotty, in my rounds, Glasgow to Tain, and then Fort William, you did the live audience. Uh, did you ever do the fringe? Why not do live shows locally? Well, I think John Jones, perhaps when the um, lockdown is finished, I may well take to the road and go touring. And uh, a wee bit of chit-chat, wee bit of entertainment, take a few points. Numpty Heats watching Paul Cruikshanks. Paul Cruikshanks, excellent to have you with us. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do, says Paul. Good morning, Paul. Guys, more sharing, more sharing. Um, share to the story. I'm sharing to my story. You can all share to the story. Cameron Filson's watching. Alistair but Jack. Numpty Heat says... Better late than never. What happened? Did you sleep in the day? Numpty heat. You must have slept in. I was on here at 10 o'clock sharp. So there you are. You can see that. There you are. 10 o'clock sharp for McClue. That's gone sharing. Good. More sharing, guys. Um, share to a group. Let's get sharing to a group. Very important. Zai Kai Tang. Welcome. Zai Kai Tang. 
Dinky do, han how, me how. Morning, Scotty. Good morning, Zaikai. Uh, Scotty McLear International Airport. Super idea. Would it still be a tenor to drop off? I think for my friends, Gordon, I might uh, increase that. Uh, no, <laughs> reduce that a wee bit. So if you rang me and said, Scotty, uh, you know, I'm Agnes and I are, uh, are you know, going for a wee holiday to Isla. Um, could you, you know, make sure we get, I'd say, I'll open up the uh, lounge for you, Gordon, because you see, I don't do first class or second class. Everybody is of the same class. And this is what makes me laugh when I see uh, people who used to get third class on the railways and the poor old third class, the steerage on the Titanic. Was third class the same as steerage or was steerage even further down the food chain than third class? I can't remember. Anyway, I don't do any of that nonsense. And as I say, it makes me laugh when you have your uh, socialist with the big chip on the shoulder going, this is the class war. You think, no, no, there's no class war. Get the chip off your shoulder and realize that you are the same as the rest of us. Okay, okay. We message to the commies out there. Fantastic. The lefty wefties and the righty whities. Scotty, who was Charles Ludwig Dodgson? Uh, he wasn't directly related to me, Kevin, so I don't know. Do tell us. Um, Stuart Main's watching Dinky Doors. Like I tang reporting from Prescott in Lancashire. Prescott. Fantastic. Now, uh, I think Prescott in Lancashire. My old friend Keith Macklin, who a lot of you will remember very, very fondly. A wonderful sports reporter, a wonderful journalist, a wonderful broadcaster, a wonderful program controller, the program controller of Red Rose Radio in Lancashire, wonderful newscaster, and uh, a wonderful wit and uh, after dinner speaker, a very erudite and urbane man, Keith Macklin, and a very, very nice man. And... Um, I think he went to Prescott Grammar School. So there you are. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, David Diston, Dinky Doo, Jeff Bernstein, Dinky Doo, Kenny Wilson sent all my contacts in Australia. A couple already tuned in. King Kenny Taylor. Kenny, thank you very, very much. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. Guys, let's get these numbers up. We're sitting at around the 50 mark at the moment. I want to up to 100. So everybody sharing, sharing, sharing. Because this is different from everything else on social media. I think you'll agree there. This is not about, let's see if we can get in and ruin everything here. This is to do with, this is our stream. Let's support it. Yeah. Okay. As I say, I'm only... The Catalyst. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. 1093 wins now at the darts. Do you know, I've never played darts in my life. And at a residential weekend, I took on a bit of a darts champion. And I think I won. He was going, oh, well, he was showing me how to throw the darts. And then I kept going, oh, this is, this is amazing. So I kept winning. So who knows, I might be. A darts champion. Louise Arrow's watching. Wonderful lady, Dinky Doo Louise. Um, I don't know, Scotty. Oh, Jack, this is why should you never play poker with a black Labrador? Because every time he gets a winning hand, he wags his tail. Ah! Did you like that one? Uh, did you used to have a show called Aff Your Heed? No, the Aff It's Heed show was not me, Kenny. That was somebody else. I remember the Affitts Heat Show on radio. Uh, I've been listening to you now for 20 years and loved every second of it. Zakai, you say lovely, lovely things, because, of course, Scotty McClue was massive in uh, Liverpool, Manchester, Preston, Blackpool, Penwortham, Bamberbridge, um, 
Charlie. Now, hey, Charlie, all right? Uh, recommend listening on the Highland Cathedral, beautiful and uplifting. Heard it many times, David Carr. Is that the one with the lady on the bagpipes? Kevin Kelly, dinky do. what did you have for breakfast? Says Thomas Peden. I am um, now breakfast. I was going rather light this morning, Thomas. So there we are. So I've had a large glass of water. There you are. A large glass of water, but I will have um, a wee bit of black pudding or something when we finish. Och, hey, the new, says Gav Doherty. Dinky to Gav Doherty. Och, hey, the new. There we go. Do you still make the pies, Scotty? I always remember cracking a funny line. One of the talk stations I worked on before me was a top broadcaster who also did all the sport. And he would have all these famous footballers in. So I would go into the studio to do a wee chat and yeah, I could be sitting looking at all your top people, you know, the manager of all the top clubs, top players. Oh, hello, Scotty, how you getting on? And I thought, most football fans, I'm not a great football fan, and I don't know much about the game, but I thought all your football fans would give their eye teeth to be sitting beside this giant of football, and here's McClure chattering away. Fantastic. And I remember when Hawkeye came in, uh, that tells you when, uh, you know, you've got a point and a goal or whatever. And when Hawkeye came in, they were talking about and saying how wonderful Hawkeye is. And I said, is Hawkeye instant? And they said, oh, yeah. I said, so that would be Hawkeye the new. <laughs> and uh, that got a wee smile, I can tell you. Do you still make the pies, Scotty? Yes, McClue's pies and vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. So there we are. Good morning, sir. And the dinkiest of do's to your good self, Goddy. Go who cares? Go who cares? Very good. G H O O K E R R S. Very good. Go who cares? Um, John McCrossan, delighted to discover this. Not heard you since the old Scott FM days. Great days back then. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour without a shadow of doubt we loved radio clyde in the west we loved uh, radio fourth in the east we loved center sound or central fm i set it up 30 years ago in june and then um, that became the big station for central scotland it's still on air and highly successful to this day and uh, a lot of my colleagues work on it so there we are i'm still in touch with them uh, Karim Zachariah, Scotty McClure, have you been in the Blackpool Tower recently? And if so, what are your thoughts? So there we are. Um, I haven't um, been in the Tower for a while, Karim. I need to go back in and see if they've got if they've got the mighty Wurlitzer and the ballroom and all that. They're fantastic. Lewis Carroll, Scotty. Lewis Carroll. Now, Kevin Stewart. Let me tell you a little bit about Lewis Carroll. If I've got the right guy here, he was from Richmond in North Yorkshire. And his father was the Dean of Richmond Cathedral. And Lewis Carroll as a little boy, I think he maybe sang in the choir or whatever, but he would sit there and apparently the carvings on the woodwork of the pews and the choir stalls is very fancy. I mean, somebody that knows Richmond Cathedral can help me out here. And um, Lewis Carl, as a little one, saw, if you look at the carvings in, pardon me, Richmond Cathedral, apparently you will see a pig playing bagpipes. And that's where he got a lot of his ideas for Alice in Wonderland. Now, back me up here, nation. People will be watching from Richmond right now. Do tell me, have I got that right? Gav Doherty Dinky Do, he's shouting on Meg Diggle. Come on, Meg. If I could travel back in time, if I could travel back in time, I would visit Scott FM and warn them not to get rid of you. Numpty Heed, I have to say, 
that was not their finest hour. There was no reason whatsoever anything I had said or done to get rid of Scotty McClure. However, and I'll leave this with you, there was huge pressure on the other radio stations to get rid of Scotty McClure. I ask you, what could possibly have happened? To this day, I don't know, but I've talked to people who were involved in it. A lot of them are dead now. Um, and, uh, you know, they said it was just such a mistake. And I said, well, if you'd talked to me at the time, because I can remember them having a meeting, the wonderful Grampian and Border Television who owned it had sold it, right? So that was fine. And this was new people. And the figures were through the roof and they thought, no, 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 we're, we're not a one-trick pony, you know. And they had wonderful broadcasters on it. And um, the fabulous Robin Galloway was breakfast. I was mid-morning. You know, you had great broadcasters on, Jerry Bark, all these wonderful people um, broadcasting on it. So they had plenty of it. And uh, they got rid of it. And the figures just plummeted. They had to resell it. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Jeff Bernstein, dinky do from Kearney Hill, Scotty. Nice to hear your tones this morning. How's the tonic? Jeff Bernstein, I love Kearney Hill, a body part of the world. I can remember, would I be right? I'd be parked up the top of Kearney Hill, and I was looking down on all the lights of Dunfermline. All the orange lights, a big snake of lights. Is that possible? And I said, what's that there? And someone said, that's Dunfermline. How's the keyboard stand, Jeff? Says Paul Francis Carroll. Fantastic, Paul Francis Carroll. More sharing. What are we doing, guys? What is going on here? Um, a group, a group. We need to share to a group. You're distracting me and I'm forgetting to share. Can everybody share? A mass share right now. Uh, share in a group. Here we go. Oh, there's the rain on in Glasgow. Blown a gale. Has anybody got another huge gale? I would have thought it'd be about maybe a force eight or something, maybe even more if anybody's out in the firth taking their yacht out or something. Scotty! McRae, we're sharing, sharing with a group here, guys. So there we are. Keyboard stand. John Marshall, dinky do. Great to hear you this morning, says Anne McGettigan. Anne McGettigan. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. I have to dash, Scotty. I've got a recovery to do. I'll catch you later. Alistair King, thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I hope the recovery goes well. You're very skilled and very clever. Alistair's a recovery man and an engineer and anything about cars. Um, Steve Wilkie, dinky do. Jack Millie's dinky do. So there we are. Big thumbs up. That was a good one, Scotty. Did you like that one, Jack? Never play poker with a black Labrador, because if he gets a good hand, he wags his tail. Prescott Grammar is at the back of mine down the road just before you cross over the motorway to Nos Nosley. You've put Noski. Nosley Safari Park. Ah, yes, the flamingos. Is that right? They've got flamingos. And um, Paul, ha, 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 are you just at the back of Heighton? Would that be right? Yeah, Paul, ha, 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 still got it. Hope you're well, buddy. You'll be missing the keyboard lessons, says Jeff. Kevin Stewart, Scotty, what do you call a Scottish North American Native Indian? Hawkeye the Noor. There you are, I told you. I said to a lady, I'll teach you to speak North American Native Indian in three weeks. She said, how? I said, see, you're picking up already. Uh, we want you back on the radio, Scotty. It's never been the same. Jeff Bernstein, I would love to go back, but it should be national radio. At a time like this, our public service broadcaster is missing a massive trick. Now, our public service broadcaster, a year ago, launched a new television channel. I've heard that some of the viewing figures are as low as 4,000 to some of the programs. They've spent £32 million pounds on the station, allegedly, right? And, uh, I mean, that's quite possible. And the other day, I just did a random pop-up on Facebook, 6,000 saw it. 
Another time I did a random pop-up, 30,000 saw it. You know, so it just tells you what is what. J.P. McCusker's watching. One of the world's great broadcasters. Wonderful man. Welcome, welcome. Francis Donnelly's watching. Francis, are you the Francis Donnelly I'm thinking of that used to phone me? Are you not on the radio anymore, Scotty? No, Stephen. I came off the radio about um, about three months ago. So there we are. Uh, about 12 weeks ago, I came off the radio because they wanted to put love songs on. Um, they weren't sure about uh, about talk because uh, they were a hit radio station. Uh, so they wanted love songs. So all I say to anybody is good luck. Paul Francis, Carol Dinky do completely agree, Jeff. Scotty McClure was Radio Gold. The chats were amazing. I think because we all join in, everyone wants to talk. And I remember somebody saying, Scotty, you're always on about how successful a talk station would be. Any that have been launched don't seem to make it. And I said, no, they don't, because they're not properly launched. And because I can remember working at a talk station, which shall be nameless, and I was the only person with talk radio experience. And nobody ever asked me a question. Everybody seemed to know what they were doing best. Nobody ever asked a question. Very strange. Still got it, Paul. Hope you're well, buddy. So there we are. I mean, I have 36 years' experience of television and radio. Yep, that's what Lewis Carroll. Uh, Lewis Carroll was Charles Ludwig Dodgson. Right. So, Mr. Dodgson must have been the dean of Richmond Cathedral in high Victorian days. Can we check this out, Kevin Stewart? You are one of our resident genii. Here's another joke for you, Scotty. What did the worker at the rubber band factory say when he lost his job? Oh, snap. I uh, have left my job in the helium factory. I thought I will not be spoken to like that again. Uh, Stephen Dick, Dinky Doo. He did, Scotty. Richmond was the inspiration. Kevin Stewart, you genius. Uh, this morning, my door slammed shut from the wind. Ah, Jack, have you checked? Will it open again? Guys, I'm trying to share and you're interrupting me. Stop. Right, live now. Live now. Join us. There we go. Wonderful. Right. Um, Andy Groves, Dinky Doo, can everybody do a massive share right now, guys? Now, while I've got you just a little bit of housekeeping, can you set up Scotty McClue as a skill in your Alexa? Can you store Scotty McClue in Alexa's routines so that you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClue. All right. Alexa, Play Scotty McClue. Instagram, Scotty McClue1. TikTok, at Scotty McClue. Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Now, if you've got a Twitter account, seriously, guys, follow me on Twitter. Very important. Uh, I'm on Reddit as Rettees, don't ask. Uh, YouTube, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue1. Uh, Facebook, we're on here. We've got the Facebook page. We've got www.scotty-mcclue.com, which is the website as well, of course, with 10 million followers. Um, we've got uh, all these things. Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Please, every single one of you, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about this program right now. Do it now. I've got a huge... Gail, she's 20 stone. John John's very funny. There we are. Numpty head. Is there anyone in Scotland you haven't been to? I don't think so, Numpty head. Oh, yes, there is. I haven't actually been to John O'Groats. What a terrible admission. So I haven't actually been to John O'Groats. But I think I've probably been everywhere else. Have you ever been to Mellon Udrigal? 
Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs, according to Paul McCartney. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love it. A wee joke there, Kevin Stewart. Uh, Dickie Porter, hope you're staying safe, dinky do. And um, Kevin Stewart, yes, you're right, Scotty, he was the dean. Aha, I'm not just an athlete, you know, Kevin. I'm not just a black belt in karaoke. Uh, Scotty McClure, a very big mistake made by your recent employment with that radio station. However, a new door opens and your listeners will be there to support you. Kareem Zachariah, I thank you. So there we are. Tam Somerville, Stuart Kennedy, your favourites on. Stephen Menzies is watching now. Stephen Menzies is a real top man. Stephen Menzies had a birthday yesterday. Can we all wish Stephen a happy birthday for yesterday? And um, I don't say a happy belated birthday. I don't do that line because uh, your birthday is your birthday, you know. So happy birthday anytime is always fantastic. Anytime during the year. So a very happy birthday to you and a big round of silent applause for Stephen Menzies. Fantastic. And uh, three silent cheers. Wonderful. Three silent cheers, Stephen Menzies. And Stephen Menzies is one of these wonderful people who goes way out into the wilds of Scotland to keep our rail network running smoothly. Fantastic guy. Um, I'm a black belt in origami. I can fold you in 20 moves. How do you spell the Reddit page? R-E-D-D-I-T, Jack. Um, Rettes, sorry, R-E-T-T-E-S. Many thanks, Scotty, Sir Stephen Menzies. Stephen, a great privilege and a pleasure. Excuse me a second, every day. Quick wipe down. Oh, oh, the heat, the heat in here is outstanding. I mean, I've grown to twice my height since we started this show. <laughs> Fantastic. And I didn't understand what you were talking about. Oh, poison. Oh, David. No, it was a lady on Facebook had complained to the radio station and uh, helped to get me sacked. So there you are. And then she put a false account on Facebook and was putting dripping poison onto it. That's what I meant, David. Uh, is the Queen of Bonn again, Christian? She has two birthdays. No, numpted. One's the official birthday in June for the changing of the guard. That may always have been the Sovereign's birthday. It'd be interesting to work out the background to that. Maybe Kevin could get on to this one and we find out that it was Queen Victoria's birthday or something like that, or George the Third's birthday. But uh, the Queen is, uh, she will be an Aries, I think. The Queen is April. Uh, we play a song today, Scotty. I think I should, Kareem. Hello, Scotty, from a cold Dublin. Oh, Dublin. I love Dublin. I love Dublin. I would love to have gone. I know you can't live in all the houses or go to all the universities, study in all the different schools, but I would love to have gone to Trinity College Dublin um, and sat and done research in the library, done another degree. So maybe they'll give me, maybe they'll give Scotty McClue an honorary degree someday from Trinity College in Dublin. Would you give an old alumni of Glasgow University a degree from Trinity College in Dublin so I can sit in the library? And of course was uh, one of my great uh, my great one, Samuel Beckett. Did he not teach at Trinity College, Dublin, the writer of Waiting for Godot? So there we are, Samuel Beckett. There we are, Trinity College, Dublin. And of course, it was great to witness the history firsthand because I don't have any sort of bigotry in me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very strong on looking at both sides of things. And she has the tripping of the colour birthday and then the private one with her family. Yes, Kevin, she's got the one in April, which is her proper birthday, the anniversary of the day she was born, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. And um, then, of course, there's the tripping of the colour for the Queen's official birthday. But whose birthday was it? Was it maybe, I mean, the tripping of the colour, I think the tripping of the colour is quite old. I think it might be about 270 years old or something. I, it's a very old ceremony anyway. 
Marvellous. And then we have the Ceremony of the Keys. Remember, used to close down the talk station with the Ceremony of the Keys. Beef dripping, it's the only dripping you should be involved with. You shouldn't be dropping poison. That's right, Andy. You're quite right. Well, this woman, she was dripping poison. She was a wee cup of poison. And when I found who it was, I was shocked because she was on nice as ninepence. Hi, Scotty. How are you getting on? How's the dog? All that stuff and then complaining. The double birthday tradition was started more than 250 years ago. Kevin, what did I say? Woo! Polish up the halo. Um, 250 years ago, back in George II in 1748. Fantastic. So, is that... King George II's official birthday that we are commemorating and celebrating the Tripping of the Colour. <coughs> Don't be fooled by the cough. Had it for 20 years. Too, too much speaking. 50,000 hours of speaking in public. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Ah, yes, wonderful. Um, it was, here we are. Right, that's that one. What will happen to Harry and Meghan's coat of arms now they've left the family? Well, you see, they haven't left the family, I don't think, Numpty Heed. They've decided to step down from royal duties. That doesn't mean that they're not a royal couple. So Harry is still the Queen's grandson. Harry is still the uh, younger son of the heir to the throne, the Prince of Wales. So um, very much coat of arms. These are still aristocrats per se. <laughs> well, sorry. Pardon me. Royals per se. Uh, no, it's not his true birthday. He was born in November, which is not known in the UK for its good weather. Certainly it's not, Kevin Stewart. So what does that make him born in November? What would he be in terms of birth sign? I am trying to think. Guys, more sharing, more sharing. You know, we need to keep these figures up. So there we go. Keep the figures up, I say. Here we are. Right, I'm just going to share again to a group. I'll share to one of the massive groups. Very important, guys. And maybe share to another page in a minute. And if you can all do the same, share, 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 share. share. There we are. And uh, share to the group. So we'll put share to share in the group. And one of the big Facebook groups would be good, wouldn't it? There we are. And if you can all do the same. And then, guys, if you can share for me throughout the day. I know you're all sitting there. Oh, I saw we will. But, no, I know you will because at the end of the day, the people that watch Scotty McClue are proper people. They're good people. They're decent people. Sagittarius. Oh, a Sagittarian. Yes, the opposite sign of mine. So there we go. Right, Kevin. You are some man. Facebook Live. I'll just put live now. Please share live now. Please share. Does it help to say please share? I mean, sometimes I just go share, share, share and hope that people will join in the fun and the banter. Because, folks, see, if we tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook live weekday mornings, 10 o'clock sharp, then, uh, you know, there we are. John Davis, it goes, maybe if you talked about mumbling pants instead of... <laughs> Very good, John Davidson. A tee -hee. Um, If, uh, you know, all of you share and tell everyone about this, it will make for a cracker of a stream. And when folk are climbing the walls, as a lady said she was, it helps if we're all getting together for a good chit-chat. Uh, uh, sorry, Scotty, it was a Scorpio. Oh, not the opposite of me. Scorpio, yes, a wee sting in the tail, but I get on well with scorpions. 
You've got to um, watch them carefully, of course, but no, I get on very well with scorpions. Psychai Tang, Prescott used to have its own radio station, KCR Radio. I was gutted. When they got rid of I remember KCR. Yes, wonderful. What did the main A's say when the refrigerator door was opened? Close the door, I'm dressing. Ah, yes. Meanies, what him includes meanies. So there we are. Come on, Jack, what him includes meanies. Yes, wonderful. What him includes meanies. Come on, guys. There's our big tester this morning. Dinky doo. Can you, uh, can you think of what one that is? There we are. Shall I do another share? Just a big share to the... Um... Oh, I'll tell you what I'll share. I'll share to another page. We've got all the Scotty McLeod pages, guys. So there we are. Will you be tinkling the ivories again today? Andy Groves, you're quite right. You just reminded me. I can give you a wee tinkle on the ivories. Yes, we shall do that. In fact, we'll do that now, shall we? Let me just get this out to uh, Scotty McClure, global radio and television producer. Now, guys, there's a massive queue at the moment for friendship requests. Can you all, and this means everyone, follow me on the Facebook page? There's about 3,000 of you following. If the rest of you can follow, and can you also like the other big actual Facebook page and take it up to 6,000? That would be fabulous. Live now. Yes, I'll give you the answer to that before the end of the day. What him includes mayonnaise. Uh, with hearts and hands and voices. No, Kevin Stewart. No, no. Doogie W.A. Porter. There we go. What have we got? An old married couple no sooner hit the pillows when the old man lets one go and says, go. His wife rolls over and says, what was that? What in the world was that? The old man replied, it's fart football. A few minutes later, his wife lets one go and says, go, 1-1. One, one. After about five minutes, the old man lets another go and says, aha, I'm ahead, 2-1. Not to be outdone, the, the wife rips out another one and says, ha, 2-2. Two, two. He refuses to get beaten by women, so he pushes really hard. No, I can't go on with this one. So there we are. <laughs> can't go on with this one. Sorry about that. Sorry, Dougie W. Porter. So there we are. We'll have to let that one go, as they say. <laughs> we always have to let one go, don't we? So, right, that's that one. Scotty, what did you ever win on the pools? If so, what was your biggest win? I never won anything on the pools. And also, I never used to win spot the ball. Remember spot the ball? You, you squinted and stared at it. You thought, well, sure. Because it was usually was it not up the top of the stadium or something like that. Uh, with hearts and hands and voices, I have followed you on Facebook, says Jack. Here we are, John Davidson. Manies have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Manies, get it? Oh, manies have seen. I don't really have a skibby, Scotty. There you are, Jack. It's just been answered by John Davidson above you there. Manies have seen the glory. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, would you like a wee tinkle on the ivories? Want it to be very quick. What would you like on the ivories this morning? Uh, are we ready? Right. On the ivories. Uh, this one. <laughs> What about that one? 
for you, a wee tune on the organ, Scotty on his organ. We have to dash now because we are out of time. Lovely, lovely having you with us. Tell everybody about this wonderful broadcast or live stream. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay fabulous, stay you. All right, and dinky-doo.